a very good evening to everybody. Uh, as promised, I'm here every day at 10 p.m. with something or the other in IELTS, giving you tips and solving your exercises. Yesterday, we had a lot of demand for reading. So today I'm here with the reading. So now the kind of reading that I'm going to do today is going to be matching information. Matching information means there is a paragraph and there is a list of things. We got to match which paragraph contains what thing. Now, just to give it a twist, I have got it very difficult this time. I've got a very difficult one for you. So don't worry. Don't expect to get a great answer score from here, but yeah, you will learn a lot. That is what I'm actually worried. Learning is more important than scoring very high in these learning sessions. So let us start with our tasks for the day. Reading, matching information. Now, this matching information is going to be there in any of the three sections, section one, section two, or section three. There'll be something close to five to seven questions based on this particular question type, okay? So we'll be doing seven questions today. Don't worry, these seven questions are really going to blow you off your feet. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. They're going to be pretty tough. They look simple, but they're not simple. Okay. So in case you haven't followed us on social media, as a norm, I'm going to say this all thing. Please follow us on Weber's Educom Limited. Send it to your friends, relatives, everybody, so that we get more subscribers so that we get more views and definitely we benefit the society on the whole because we are not charging anything for it. Blog, Instagram, Facebook, Telegram, and WhatsApp number we have here. In case you want anything help, I'll be more than happy to help you out. We have offline campuses and we are expanding to a lot new places. Right now, our campuses are in Amritsar. We have... <clears throat> In Jalandhar, Ludhiana, Gurugram, Kapurthala, Tarantaran, Batala, Gurdaspur, in Amritsar we've got six, in Gurugram we've got two, we've got one in Delhi also, that is not operational right now, but very soon I'm in Delhi only, I'm going to make it sure that I make it operational, and we are planning some more in Haryana, in Rajasthan, so let's see how it works out. So very soon you'll be seeing the list expanding. Uh, in case you want today's PDF book, I'll be more than happy to share it with you. And that's my number, WhatsApp number. So you can just send me a message, a WhatsApp message, saying that you want a PDF book 17, and I will send you the book 17 PDF. So you have to say book 17 PDF. That's the latest book. So please, please, please make it sure that you get this book and you do it properly, which is very, very important. Very, very important. Let's proceed further. Now, here we are with the questions. Now, let me explain you how does it work. See, I'll give you a very practical thing. How does it work? These are the seven questions that are here, okay? These are the seven questions that are going to be here. And this is the passage, okay? And you have to figure out which one is corresponding to which. Is it actually corresponding or not corresponding, okay? One, I'll do it with you. I'll explain it to you. It's a very simple thing and um, uh, one second, there's a very nice, interesting uh, thing that somebody's asking me. Uh, first of all, Jaspinder Dhava, Lina Sharma, Rohini Sharma, Shiny Grover, and Rajat Rampal, a very good evening to you all. Rajat Rampal is asking me the PDF or reading or which module and what is the price. Rajat Rampal, whatever I'm giving in this session, it is totally free. Whatever PDFs I'm going to give you, that is also free of cost. Okay, I don't even know if you are Weber student or not a student, I'm just giving information because this is the session that I have chosen to give to everybody. And that is without any cost at all. I'll just explain it to you, the concept of the session. I guess a lot of people just don't know about the session. So every evening at 10 p.m., I am here for half an hour 
because it is very difficult for me to meet the students. So what I do, I record my session and I send it to everybody. So they keep on watching it whenever they want to. So if you look at the viewership, it starts from 10, 15, 20. And by the time the days keep on passing by, it goes to 300, 400, 500. That's how it keeps on going up. So we pass on the link whenever the people want to do it, they can do it. These classes are absolutely free of cost. The ones that I'm giving you at 10 p.m. But in case you feel that you want offline classes or you want online classes, I've given you a number. Contact that number and we will help you out. We have got a paid version as well. This is the free version. This is in English. It's purely in English. We have another version in Hindi, Punjabi, Haryanvi. We have other versions also. You can go to our offline campuses and you can see it there. I know a lot of people have a trouble following English, uh, especially when it comes to tips. So don't worry. Okay. Right. So uh, Rajat, I'm going to give you this again. Wait, wait, wait. This is the number. Please take a screenshot, Rajat Rampal. Please take a screenshot. Okay. <clears throat> now these are the questions and um, this is my passage and I'm going to solve it for you. I'm going to solve this for you very simply. The answer is seven and I'm going to solve this for you. Just showing it to you. How is it solved? What is the meaning of matching information? Okay. Let us see. This TV drama about a young private detective employed by a team of New York businessmen who sent her to Brazil to look into a series of hotel robberies. There are many hotel robberies, so she's sent there. When she gets there, she discovers that the hotels, which has owned by businessmen, have been empty for last two years, and the local authorities have no record of any robberies. Okay, so this is about a young private detective about a crime which is being committed there. So now if I look at all the information here, <clears throat> let us see if I look at all the information here, this program is in the form of a personal interview. Definitely not. This is not a personal interview. This program is Documentary about technological developments, not at all. It is not the one. This program is about time travel. No, we haven't traveled in time. This program is taken from a book, not at all again. This film, this film, this is not a film actually, it's a TV drama. This film is the introduction to the set of programs, not at all. This is also not the answer. This program is about present day travelers. They're not talking about any traveling. So the last one is this program is about investigating a possible crime. Well, that is the answer. It is that simple. Trust me, it is that simple. But when it will come to solving, it won't be that simple. Why? Because you can use one question multiple times and you can use one para again multiple times. If you find two, three things are matching it, match them. Doesn't matter. Match it. Okay. So now we will begin. So please keep your mind, your pencil and your paper ready. I'm going to start and you're going to make it sure that you keep on typing it in between. All right. So keep on writing the answers in the chat box. So let us go to the next one. And this, I'm just going to give it, give you some time. Okay, so now this is the question. Para number C. I'll give you some time. Figure it out. What does it match to? Charanjit Kaur, wishing you very good evening. Udebir Singh, very good evening to you too. Rajat Rampal, I hope you got my WhatsApp number. Okay. So now check this out and give me the answer to this question. Give me the answer to this question. Which statement is matching some part of this paragraph?
write down the answer. Okay, Jaspinder Randhawa, Charanjit Kaur, they all are saying that the answer to this question is three. So let us see how and why is it three? Suspense is skillfully built up in this clever, small scale, supernatural story. A young couple viewed a, view a deserted old house that they are interested in buying. They meet a strange old lady who tells them of mystical powers of the house and how previous owners have been able to travel back through centuries. That means they have traveled through time. They have traveled through time. So now the answer is, this program is about time travel. So answer is C. Now, many people said the answer is six. This program is about present day travelers. It is not about present day travelers. They are traveling back in centuries. You don't travel to centuries. It's a supernatural story, which doesn't make too much of sense, right? It's just a fiction. It's just a fiction. All right, so the answer to this, and I have seen that a lot of people did it right. The answer to this question is C. Bingo, wonderfully done. So let me see how many people got it right. Jaspinder Randhava got it right. Charanjit Kaur got it right. And uh, Rohini Sharma got it right. Gurpreet Singh got it wrong. Lena Sharma got it right. And Shiny Grover got it wrong. Okay, so let's go to... Para number D. Charanjit Kaur got it right. All right. Let's go to para number D. So this is para number D. See para number D. Now, again, para number D is very confusing, very, very confusing. And you will find two answers to para number D. There'll be two answers to para number D. Read it, read it and give me the answers. There'll be two para D. Para number D, there'll be two answers. Remember, there'll be two answers. There'll be two answers to this. So write down two answers to this. I'm getting very good views. Charanjit Kaur said six. Lina Sharma said six. Varindur Sitsev said six. Udebir says again six. And Charanjit Kaur says six again. So let me see how does it work. Fiona Campbell is nearly there. All she has to do is now walk the length of France and Britain, and she has succeeded in walking around the world. Tonight, she drinks coffee in a tent and tells her story. 
she tells her story to Janet Street Porter before she sets off for the Pyrenees Mountains. So she is giving an interview to Janet. All right. So she is giving an interview. Great. So my interview is here. The program is in the form of a personal interview. So this is D. It is absolutely correct. Another one. She is a traveler and she's a present day traveler. She's traveling. So the program is about present day travelers. So we have two answers here, one and six. So the people who got it right are absolutely amazing. Uh, so Charanjit Kaur got it right, Jaspinder Randhawa, Gurpreet Singh, Rohini Sharma got it wrong. This is not a film. Rohini, check it out. It's not a film. Shiny Grover got it right. Rajat Rampal got it right. Charanjit Kaur got it right. Charanjit Kaur, okay. Uday Beer Singh got it right. Very well done, everybody. So we will proceed on to number E now. We are going to proceed to number E. Now, what is number E? We will check that. What is number E? Okay. So do not worry. We are going to fix it up for you. And all you need to do is just focus, paraphrase the whole thing, and you will get the answers. Very simple. You will get the answers. So here we are in E. Again, E is very easy, very easy. This is in front of you. And E has got two answers again. I want two answers for E. Two answers for E. Give me the answer which has been given will also be repeated. Don't worry. So all these marked in yellow can be repeated. All right. So it will be repeated. Don't worry. It will be repeated. Write your answer. Please note the one that we have solved already can also be the answer. We will be having two to answers per question also. Don't worry. Okay, so many people got it correct. Let me analyze this answer for you. So it says, this is a TV film being used to launch a new science fiction series. Okay, a new science fiction series. It is going to launch that. It has a strong, impressive special effects and a strong, believable cast of characters who travel to 23rd century, which means they travel in time. The action takes place in underground cities where the environment is controlled by computers. Okay. Now, many people will argue that this can be number two also. The program is documentary about technological developments. True. It can be the answer too. But let us refer other answers. This film is the introduction to a set of programs, that is for sure. This is the answer. This is guaranteed. This is the answer. This book is taken from a, this program is taken from a book. No, this program is in the form of a personal interview. Not at all. This program is about time travel. Oh, yes, it is definitely about time travel. They are traveling in time. But are they about technological developments? We are not very sure. OK, what developments took place. We are just saying it's controlled by the computers. We don't know about the development. So I'll put a question mark here. 
which is looking better because I want two answers, okay? This program is about present day travels. It is not about present day travels. This program is about investigating a possible crime. This is not about investigating a possible crime. So the two answers that are for sure, they are number three and number five. Let me see how many people got it correct. Um, so I have Charanjit Kaur, five. She says, right. Varinder Singh is fine. Uday Beer Singh Jammu is fine. Charanjit Kaur is perfect, fine. Jaspinder is right. Gurpreet, number two is not the answer, unfortunately. Lena two is not the answer. Rajat Rampal, you are fine. Uh, then Uday Beer Singh, two is not the answer. Five is the answer. Gurbhet Singh Sandhu, no, one is not the answer. It's not a personal interview. I cannot see a personal interview here. Rohini Sharma, it is a five and three, perfectly fine. Shiny Grover, two is not the answer. Five is the right answer. Lena, two and five is not the answer. It is three and five is the answer. So I will... So you see a lot of people are getting half correct. That is perfectly fine. Getting half correct is fine. So let us see the answers now. Okay. So um, let us go to next para. That is para number F. Okay. So let me just go to para number F for you. But before I go to para number F, I need to show you the correct answers that are here. So the program is about time travel C and the program is about set of new programs. It's an introduction to a set of new programs, that's E. They are all correct. Now we are going to go to number F para. F, this is new science F. Read this, very interesting, read it and you will find the answer immediately. Don't worry, it's a very cool answer, very cool answer. You can give, it's only one answer, don't worry. It's only one answer in this. Just one answer. Quickly write down the answer. All right, so we'll see what the answer is here. This popular half hour science magazine, the moment you see science, you see technology, continues into its 29th year, proving itself to be a hardy survivor in the television world. Tonight, it is presented by Carol Waterman, who introduces five reports which include computer-driven cars, and in-flight 10-pin bowling. This program is about the technological developments. Very true, and that is the correct answer. So it was only one answer. I'm keep, I keep on saying it's only one answer, just one answer. There is no book involved. There's no book involved. So let us see uh, how many people got it correct. So Charanjit, uh, you were saying, can we write... Uh, CE, don't worry, I'll teach you what to write once we go to the answer key. I will teach you that. Jaspinder Randhava says two, perfectly fine. Varinder Singh says two, perfectly fine. Charanjit says four. Charanjit, there's no book here. There's no book. It is a television program. It's a science magazine. Half an hour continues in proving itself to be this. Uh, you know, it is, it is a, it's a report on the television about a science magazine. Okay. So uh, Charanjit says two and four, Rajat Rampal says two, Charanjit says two, Gurpreet says two, Shani uh, Rover's message has been retracted and Charanjit Kaur says yes, all right. So now you know the answer and the answer to this question is number two. Now we are left with the last one, okay? Last one, again, it's very tricky. I'll teach you what the last one is. Just hold on. Uh, the last one, before I give you the last one, I'll show you F is number two. You will obviously, the last one is four, right? 
So let me just take you there and see the last one, G, okay? Uh, you check this out and you will immediately find out the answer is four. Well, the answer is four, I'm sure. Answer is four, but there is one more answer to this. There is one more answer to this, okay? So there are two answers to this. I want you to find out two answers. G has two answers. It's not that simple. G has two answers. I'm telling you again, two answers. Figure it out what the answers are. G has two answers. All right, I'm seeing wonderful answers from you all and you all understood how the game is actually being played here. Okay, so let me show it to you. G, there and back again, Paul Thiroux's account of his recent journey from London to Japan and back makes ideal material for this evening's travel slot. Now this Paul Paul is a traveler, okay? He's a traveler. So obviously, something relating to travel will be there. Based on his own novel, so that means the book is there. Some kind of a book is here. So these are two things that is there. The progress of his journey on the railways of Europe and Asia, Victoria Station, Paris, Istanbul, acts as a fascinating travelogue as the inhabitants gradually shift from the west to the east. So one thing is for sure, number four is the answer that is for sure. Now the next one is about the present day traveler. Now where is the present day traveler? The present day traveler is here in number six. So the answer is G and here the answer is D and G. So we have got these two answers of G. So let me see how many people got it correct. Um, Varinder Singh says four and six, perfectly fine. Udaybir Singh says four and three. The this, Udaybir, this is not about time travel. Time travel means traveling into time, going one century ahead or going one century behind. That is called as time travel. Okay. Um, then we have... Just Pindur and Dhawa says four and six, perfect. Kajan just Kaur says four and six, right. Gurpreet says four and six, right. Rajat Rampa says three and four. Rajat is not about time travel. Shiny says four and something she did not write. Shiny says three and four. Shiny is not three, it's four and six. So now you have all the answers with you. And so let me show it to you. Okay, here we are with all the answers. Now I'm going to show you a list of the answers, how they look like. First is D, second is F, third is C, fourth is G, fifth is E, sixth is DG, and seventh is A. Now, I have got a wonderful question from you all that in case this kind of a thing comes in the examination, how are we going to transfer the answers? Okay, the answers will be transferred like this, not with a, with a slash, not with a slash. They will be transferred like this because there are two, two answers for one, one question. Okay. Um, so I'll repeat. It's one is D, two is F, third is C, fourth, third is C and E, fourth is G, fifth is E, sixth is D and G, and seventh is A. So these are my answers to the questions here. Okay, I'm so sorry. This has been written by mistake. Uh, these are the answer keys. These are not the types of essay. I'm so sorry. Answers. I just made this today. I found a very difficult one and made this today. These are the answers. So sorry about my typo mistake.
Okay, now Varinder says, if we write only C instead of C and E, will it be right or not? It will be wrong because two answers are to be there. Two answers are to be there. Uh, you cannot write half an answer. Half, there's no half mark in IELTS. There's full mark only. Okay, now out of seven questions, whatever you got right, please write in the chat box. Write in the chat box whatever you got right. Whatever you got it right, write in the chat box. Till that time, if you haven't followed us on social media, I request you to follow us on our YouTube channel, which I'm taking every day at 10 p.m. We've got this wonderful blog. We've got this Instagram, Facebook, and Telegram handles and a WhatsApp number. Definitely send me the message on this WhatsApp number and I'll help you out with anything that you want. Okay. And um, we have these offline campuses all across Punjab, Amritsar, Jalandar, Ludhana, Guru Gram, Kapoor, Thila, Tarantan, Batala, and Gurdaspur. In Haryana also we have. And in case you have some query, in case you have some friend who wants to visit offline, definitely send them. And we have got wonderful material, absolutely beautiful campuses to help you out. In case you want today's WhatsApp book, the PDF book of today, WhatsApp us on this number and we'll give it to you. Okay, so now let me share the answers that everybody got so I can come to know where you are. All right, so Charanjit Kaur got seven, Varinder got five on seven, Gurpit got six, Jaspinder and Dhava got seven on seven, Uday Beer Singh Jammu got five, Rajat Rampal got six on seven, Shiny Grover got five on seven. Um, okay, Charanjit Kaur says, I am attending classes in Amritsar near GNDU. Jaspinder says, thank you, sir, for amazing class. Charanjit says, thank teachers are very helpful. You're most welcome, Charanjit. Most welcome, Jaspinder. Uh, I'm glad that you people are attending the classes regularly, and I'm sure that there must be an improvement going on. Uh, yeah, I do understand that I'm taking the classes in English only, but I'm more comfortable in that, and I, be you, I believe you'll also be very comfortable in a couple of days once you attend the classes in English, then you start feeling that it's great to attend in English. Uh, my teacher name is Surinder Ma'am. She teaches us wonderful. Charanjit says this. Okay. With this, we come to the end of a session. Thank you, everybody, for attending the class. Good night and see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, we have a class on listening, okay? We'll do something 